So with athlete development, it does, it does defer from skill development. Um, and the main uh, area where it defers is the time that it takes to recover um, and recharge between training sessions. So athletic development is in nature a lot more demanding than skills training. And therefore we need to um, give the body plenty of time to regenerate between training sessions. Um, for instance, for a sprint session, um, you may have to recover for seven days for the central nervous system to, to replenish before um, sprinting at high intensity again. Whereas um, kicking development, um, hand-eye coordination, these are the type of things that you can be working on a daily basis in some format and recover quite well with, with low risk of injury. And then this is a, a five-week um, block um, for a ruckman um, that we did in the off-season. Um, so I did a bit of running with him and, and we, we chucked a GPS unit on just to see how he was tracking during the lockdown. And um, as you can see, that there's nothing compared to game loads. It, most of the sessions were around 50 to 60% of, of what you expect of total volume of run, so the aerobic running and the threshold running, um, but a lot higher in intensity. So for this player, his focus was focusing on his first three steps and his repeat speed. Um, so therefore, we were following a, a three session a week program um, not too demanding on the legs for volume but demanding on the legs with with intensity so getting two high intensity sessions in on the week um, and uh, and focusing on making sure that he's moving really well and the, and the quality of movement active recovery also known as feel good sessions you'll see throughout the training week these sessions are, are ultimately focused on feeling good throughout the session um, so minimal fatigue, high quality of movement, and you're, you're moving at a pace that you, you should be able to talk comfortably um, and not be out of breath. Then we've got aerobic. So aerobic just means with air. Um, so it's running at lower intensities. That's that yellow band that I was talking about. So moving above two meters per second, which is essentially jogging and above. Um, so around 60 to 75%. Um, typically to work on this aerobic capacity energy system will do longer efforts um, with short rest periods. And the key is that short rest period uh, element. So we, you can do aerobic running with any type of distances, whether it be for time, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, or it might be 60 meter efforts, um, but you're running at, you know, 65% of um, pace. So at a pretty comfortable pace and you're only giving yourself 15 seconds rest or 10 seconds rest between your 60 meter efforts. Then we've got your repeat speed and, and repeat uh, acceleration. So this is higher intensity based running. Um, so forward accelerations. Um, so doing drills like shuttles, um, small sided games or your Y and T type running cone drills. So you're practicing um, your first three steps uh, and the key here for it to be an endurance element your heart rate's high, so you might be doing it in between skill sessions and a, an aerobic or threshold block. You might have thrown in a, a couple minutes of some footwork. Um, so you're practicing your first three steps under fatigue. So your body's under duress. 